George, why now? Why not? Nice day. Uh, <laughs> um, I, yeah, just it feels the right time mentally and physically. I'm, I'm, I'm at that point where um, I just feel I probably can't really contribute as much as I need to. Um, and I wanted to get out of the way now, so I'm not not sort of making all the lads sob and cry at the business end of the season. To be honest, now they'll all be devastated for a number of weeks. Uh, we've got a week off next week, so yeah, hopefully they'll all be uh, you know, they'll be mourning and then they'll be done. Then we're back into the league. So it's for the lads. Good for the lads. There have been a, a lot of nice things said about you in the last 24 hours. Have, have you been moved by them? Yeah, very moved. Yeah, I even got a nice word out of Waldrum, and uh, I didn't didn't know what the word was. I couldn't really make it out, but he he, he seemed to be very happy with it. So uh, no, it, it was great actually. I was on Twitter yesterday. I tried to try to answer all the tweets that people uh, sent me yesterday, but my uh, thumb fell off after about 400. So it was actually it was it was great. I mean. Uh, it, it's, it's always nice to hear nice things about yourself and, and uh, all, the, all the well wishers out there. I, I appreciate it. If, you, if you're there, thank you. Did you get any any abusive ones? Uh, no, funny enough, not. Um, just from you, actually. It was the, the, the vaguely abusive one. Um, I wasn't expecting you. Some bloke said, uh, I used to think you were a right cocky git when you were at Saracens, but you're all right now. Uh, that, that was about as vicious as it got. Um, Clearly, uh, I've managed to appeal to the uh, cyber bullies out there to, to leave me alone. There you go. Will you miss it? Twitter? No, I'll, I'll be on it all the time. No, I'm on it loads. Um, I, yeah, I suspect I will. I, I, I was just out there watching training now, and the lads are um, getting ready for Friday, so they were, they were beating each other up in the, in the forward session. And I was sitting there in the sun, and I was like, actually, I don't miss it just at the moment. I'm quite happy to sit and watch this. and. Uh, not have to do it, but yeah, I'm sure a few months down the line, I'll, I'll probably uh, start itching to punch someone in the back of the head, and I'll probably get arrested in the high cross for doing that. So I might have to come back here and uh, give it a go here. It was Tuesday afternoon, so in the middle of winter when it's snowing, the wind's howling across yeah. Over Park. Really, will you miss it? No, not then. No, no, not at all. No. And pre-season as well. I can imagine going down to uh, Santa Freak in the south of France and uh, sweating out four stone of water every day. I can I'll see myself not missing that either. And the collar burns on your neck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, there, I mean, there's obviously lots of things I will miss. Uh, probably training, not so much. <laughs> Have you got plans for the future, George? Uh, no, not just yet. Uh, I'm sort of waiting for uh, someone to come and offer me that international playboy job that I've been after for years. Um, I've got the suit and I've got the wicker shoes, but um, at the moment I'm looking for a position. Uh, I'm sort of uh, weighing up a few options here and there. I'm, I'm sort of open to a bit of uh, suggestions as well. I, I don't really know what I want to do really and I don't really know if there's anything I can do primarily so I, I'm just going to try and talk to as many people as I can over the next few weeks, months uh, and, and try and work out something. Uh, I'm doing doing some coaching qualifications and all that so uh, I, I think I'd like to stay in the game in some way but um, whether it's coaching in schools or academies or whether it's in media I don't know I mean it's, it's, uh, it's just, just a few of the things I'll think about over the next few weeks, months. When you look back over your career it's long career a lot of games um what are the highlights what what will stand out um difficult to pick out highlights i mean obviously there's been there's been fantastic games that we've we've won and i've played in uh, but I, I, th I think yeah just off the top of my head there's the paris final that i wasn't even involved in the, that, that I, as a special place in my heart uh, had a great a great weekend there it was a great experience um and it was just a fantastic day for the club um, some other big European Cup days at Tottenham Park in 2007, uh, Claremont away 2005. Um, yeah, and then the, the, I think about the international side of it as well. So you know, I've, I've been fortunate enough to, to be involved in, in, in some pretty pretty big games, some, some pretty impressive highlights that, that I've got in my mind of, of those games. And uh, I suppose that's that's what I can take out of it really, it's rather than taking a single one. It's just the, the fact that I've got so many to choose from. I dare say there's a few moments there that actually aren't in the memory bank. Yeah, probably. Uh, one or two. I certainly think of a few in uh, Limerick that uh, have been conveniently forgotten by some people. Uh, yeah, but again, that's, that's part of it as well. Those, those social occasions after games where uh, you're just enjoying the company of your teammates and, and the fans as well. Travelling fans are always great value as well. Yeah. I think, I was saying this earlier, so that, that's, it's great that there's a European competition next year, e even if it's just for the fans. That, that sort of weekend away is a great experience for, for them as, as, well, as much as it is for us as players. So the fact that we've got a European competition is very important, I think.